What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, two-man broadcaster? I'm your host, Paintball Falcon, bringing you guys the next episode, episode five of my walkthrough of Assassin's Creed. And um, so far, I am um, playing the role of Duke and Warpole, or however you say his last name. And I'm basically incognito. I'm, I'm um, earlier in the game, the first mission, there was this note or the letter that you read, and it said, um, "I won't know you, Duncan, by your." Um, by your face, but I will know the clothing that you wear. So basically, I stole his clothes, and they think that I am Duncan Warpole, or however you say. I don't really know how to say his last name. I pronounce his last name. Um, but um, his real name is, as everyone should know, is Edward Kenway, and um, that's why this other guy just called him, called me that, and um. Now I'm supposed to follow. This is the sage, basically, and um, he's. Basically, they need the blood of this guy so they can uh, put it in the um, observatory. And from then on, um, if Edward can get this observatory thing back, then um, he's going to sell it to either the Templars or the Assassins. Basically, whoever pays the most money to have it. So, I mean, I wouldn't... I mean, I, And the one thing that I have noticed about this game is that Edward... To me, it seems like he doesn't really know about, you know, the whole war between the Assassins and Templars. Because there's one point that I saw that he said, um, he asked Ki uh, Kid about, he's like, is there, is, he's like, so did this guy start this whole thing? Did this whole uh, Assassin thing start with this dude? And kid went on to explain, no, this has been around for hundreds of years, dude. Where you been? Like, you should know this. But, um, no, kid, go ahead and he goes on to explain, um, the history behind the temple or the uh, assassins versus Templars and basically that that war has been going on for a while. So, I, I don't know. I, I mean, Edward should already. I mean, he, he's as you guys can see, he's wearing the assassin's clothes. He's doing everything. He's he, you know running around killing people like an assassin would, and I just don't understand how basically this whole he doesn't know what's going on. But anyways, this episode is basically about a series of unfortunate events because. You see, there's just one thing that happens after another. First, he's these guys, and I just feel like more things are to come. Well, we'll, we'll find out, but I'm just going to go ahead and explain to you guys that um, lots of things, lots of crazy things are, have been going on around here lately. And look at me, I'm killing assassins. So you, you that's what I'm saying. See, right now... Um, you would think that he would know about these guys, and he would be like, "Let me just in incapacitate them or something, or knock them out, not kill them." But he goes on to kill these kid people, these assassins, and he's like, "What the fuck? Fuck you! This is Sparta, bitch." Anyways, let's drop down and assassinate some. Okay, never mind. Continue on. This is just so confusing to me. I just. I don't know if I killed him or knocked him out. And these guys are getting away from me. These guys just got away from me. I gotta catch up to these these idiots. Or at least up here. No one's even harming this guy. It's time I'll defend him. Alright. Well, for those of you watching this, I've been keeping up with um, the latest news on Assassin's Creed Unity. And, um, I don't want to spoil anything. If you guys want to look at it, you can go check it out in its own little videos. But, I have been talking to my other broadcasters, aka, um, Exact Sure Shot, Notorious Blaze, and, um, Hardy T Snipe. Because, I was, um, well, I was just really in fact, look at me, I'm floating, holy shit. You guys saw that, I was floating. Um, anyways, I was really infatuated with the fact that that game's going to require you to, well, it doesn't require you to, but it will be look, like, you can 
work with four other assassins. They can join your game while you're playing in single player. You can invite them and they can join you just like that. It doesn't take you out of your game. It just brings them into your world, basically. And um, for the most part, it looks pretty fun. And I can't wait to play it. I'm, as you guys, well, I've been playing every Assassin's Creed since the first, very first one. And it was really fun. And all of these games have been very interesting, but this right, this story to Edward, I have been more like I have never been more into a Assassin's Creed game than I am with this one because I don't under this game is just it just for some reason something about it just draws me in. I don't know if it's the scenery, the storyline, but either way, I'm really drawn into this game, and I, I it just really hard for me to actually um, focus on commentating more than actually playing the game and listening to the story. So. For those of you watching this, let me know what you guys think about all the Assassin's Creed and which one was your favorite. Leave it in the comment section below because I'd like to know what you guys think. Or if you think Assassin's Creed Unity will be better than this because I enjoyed this game. I'm enjoying this game very much. And um, Assassin's Creed Unity, I'm really interested to see how my teamwork will work with um, my other friends and see how our coordination would work out in that game because... I mean, you guys will get to see that firsthand. You guys will get to see the firsthand experience of me working with my friends in this game, in Assassin's Creed Unity. And you'll see just how well we can coordinate plans, and or just how well I can coordinate plans, because that's really what I can, I'm able to do. Rule life and on this, but there's just a lot of different things that I can't wait to get my hands on this year. And Assassin's Creed Unity being one of them. But we are now a week away, a week, yes, one week, away from the next big game that's about to drop, which is um, Destiny. And as most of you who are um, familiar with Destiny, the beta was, it, it, the beta made the game seem promising. And I really can't wait to play it. It's just one of those things that you just like, I gotta play this. It's an op it's the first open world game that I will have played for sure and I can't wait to see how that fares up because I did see a little bit of how it's gonna be as far as open world goes you can just play by yourself in the story and um, people you can randomly see anybody really it's really exciting I can't wait to see it I can't wait to see how they're gonna actually and that was just the beta and if the beta was that fun I think that this whole real game it's going to be just as good and you guys are going to get to see me play it as well so stay tuned and you'll be able to watch that hopefully i can get this game out of the way before then but if i get too caught up playing destiny and you might be seeing more of it than this but like i said this story is really good and um it's gonna be very interesting for me to be able to switch between both of these games it's gonna be hard but i'll manage somehow but now I have to stalk this guy. It's one of the assassin contracts. And the reason I'm actually doing these is because... Wow, I missed that. This is my real target. You fucked up, dude. You fucked up, dude. Nope. Fuck you. I still like the fact that it's like in this game they have like the dual assassin takeouts. Like two people can attack at one time and you can you can take on both of them. I still love that about this game. I've only done that once. Oh, here it is now right now. Here it is. Look at that. Excellence. I really wish I could fight like this in real life. On top of what I've already known how to do. Or what I already know how to do. And I'm not trying to sound arrogant or like a badass or something. I'm just saying. I know how to fight, and I wish I was just in, in, in as just much shape as Edward here, because this man's fucking crazy how he parkours his way around the fucking city. Look at this. Let me just show you guys a quick demonstration of parkour. Look at that, and the way he runs up walls. I've never been able. I can't do that. But that'll be it for this episode of Assassin's Creed of my Assassin's Creed Let's Play if you guys enjoyed this video then please like this video if you guys have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and subscribe please subscribe we, are, we can see that we're growing and we want to reach 700 um, on that note this has been your broadcast